Hey guys, Tagara here and welcome to my channel. I have a Patreon page if you'd like to go and check that out. I do extended videos, early uploads over on there. I don't charge much. Any videos that are missing on my YouTube channel, you can find over there as well. So plenty to dive into. I have a full library over there. So I hope you enjoy if you go and check that out. Hey guys, Takara here and welcome back to my channel. We are now on season eight, episode 11 of Supernatural. Let's get straight into it. It's just a game. It's just a game. You will pay for this. Famous last words is it's just a game. They could have come the Witcher. A horse? been found. Ow! Whoa! That looked pretty decent, that then. Lap and the real girl. Live action role playing and the real girl. You okay, man? We have the most powerful weapon we've ever had against demons and we can't find a way to use it. Yeah, well, Kevin's on it. When he finds something, he'll call. So we wait. I'm glad that they're talking. Look, we have both had a rough go over these past couple of weeks. Preach. I know what you gave up wasn't easy. And you gave up too. Take the night off. Don't go see a flick, hit a bar or two. Have they ever done that? Kevin, what do you got? Garth, hey. Good old Garth. Not seen him for a bit. It's because Garth has been tracking us and other hunters apparently to assign cases. Well, that's smart. A total Bobby move. Bobby. I still feel the Bobby hole in my heart. Just want to say that. Is this Lance? He looks like... He kind of looks like Garth in a way. <laughs> we just need to ask you a few questions. I want to know about the, uh, the texts you sent Ed last night. I'm sorry. This is all a big misunderstanding. Those text messages were from Grey Fox the Mystic to Thargrim the Difficult. So they were role-playing. Live-action role-playing? Right. LARPing. Good times. Don't you judge now, Dean. <laughs> I thought he broke protocol, so I called Ed after game hours and accused him of cheating. And then I challenged him to a duel. A duel? Wands and swords at dawn. I wonder if Garth is a LARPer and he understands it. Actually, it looks kind of awesome. <laughs> Take control of Moondor or defend the current ruler. Wait, is that the queen of the moon? Charlie? Of course Charlie's a LARPer. I don't know why I thought of Garth first. I should have thought of Charlie. Oh, oh, he's next. You're next, my dude. <coughs> oh, it's already happening. Why, well, it happens quick, doesn't it? Oh! Jeez. Wow. Dramatic. Aside from the uh, mark of the creepy here, the only thing these guys have in common is LARPing. Lucky for us, we know the queen. Yeah, you're gonna have to go to Charlie. Yes, this is gonna be a Charlie episode. Excuse me. Hi, you, uh, you are a LARPer, yeah? They look so out of place. These aren't fake badges. Uh, yeah, they are, and they're very good, but, um, well, the ID number shifted to 10 digits with uh, two letters mixed in. It's about time someone spots their fake. Trust it to be a LARPer that spots it. Her Highness is overseeing new squires on the pitch as we speak. Oh, yield! I yield! I knew that was gonna be her. They always do this, sl this slow-mo with Charlie, don't they? In their absence, the Honor Guard's ranks are weakened. To join... <laughs> oh, Blurk. Uh, the queen needs some royal wee time. Talk amongst thyselves. <clears throat> nice balance. Dude, yeah. He would so enjoy it, really. Grey Fox and Thergrim, uh, Ed and Lance. They're not missing. They're dead. But they have any enemies in common? In real life, no. Everyone gets along famously. In the game, though, they had tons of enemies. 
This weekend, each faction is definitely an enemy of me and- I wonder if this is truly like a thing? I'm pretty sure we don't have that in the UK. I could be wrong. Charlie knows Mundo a lot better than we do. We need her. Sam, I think we can take care of a bunch of accountants with foam swords. We need all the help we can get, Dean. People are dying. My point, which is usually yours, is that she should get somewhere safe and get back to a normal life. Okay. Yeah, they've, they've swapped their roles. So the toxicology report came back on Lance. Nothing. But the medical examiner said his body showed clear signs that he was killed by Belladonna. The porn star? What? The poison. Oh. <laughs> um, however, they... <laughs> that pause, that lengthy pause, it was perfect then. Okay, I'm gonna need the full wiki on where you guys have been. But first, you're gonna have to ditch the suit if you're gonna walk and talk with the queen. Yes, tell me we see Dean in a night outfit. Is it bad that I kind of ship Charlie and Dean together? Probably. Uh, you sent Sam yeah. a phantom text from his ex? Dick move, sir. Yes, it was a dick move. I mean, trust me, in this life, you can't afford attachments. You just gotta let go. Are we still talking about Sam, or did you break up with someone too? He did break up with someone. No. He did though, didn't he? <laughs> Always been into LARPing? Nah. But a buddy of mine was into LARPing. Went for him, stayed for the chicks. I forgot she was into the chicks. So yeah, I can't ship them together. <laughs> Wouldn't really work. Noticing a lot of these maidens checking you out. What? I can't shut this down. <laughs> I love her. She's ace. I vote for more Charlie in these episodes. Uh, do you recognize this from Moondor? I, I think it's Celtic. No. Sorry, but I'll look it up. Thanks. I haven't seen anything like it in my travels throughout the realms, Your Highness. All right. Well, if you think of anything, come see me in my tent. Anytime. <laughs> I feel like she didn't know how to blink then. Not blink, wink. <laughs> The Tree of Pain. If you are tagged with this mark, you'll be a victim of fairy magic. Hey. Seen this? Yeah, of course. No. No, I haven't seen it. Okay, it's the Shadow King's family crest. But you'll never find them in the Black Hills. The Black Hills? The forest behind the playground. Come on. First time for everything, right? First time for a lot of things if you want to come find my tent later. Ooh, forward. Another time. He says no? Is he still hurt over Amelia? Boltar, he's with me. This is my new handmaiden. <laughs> we seek an audience with the Shadow King. Oh, these hills are not safe. I beseech you, my queen, you should return to camp. He's right, your worshipfulness. Uh... So what's gonna happen to her now, isn't it? Oh god, she's not gonna get the mark on her, is she? Dark magic! Oh, my eyes! The sticking of your attack burns my very soul! If only the real monsters were that easy to get rid of. Dark magic? Not today, Charlie! Oh dear. Nice outfit. <clears throat> you love it. <laughs> I found out that the mark belongs to the Shadow Orcs. Yeah. All right, how do we stop it? Find whoever cast the spell and take him out. Got a feeling Charlie knows. Where's Charlie? She was with you. No, I sent her to you. Charlie? Charlie? You know what? She's got my phone. Try it. Mm, no signal. That's terrifying. <laughs> well, this has been a really great kidnapping, but I gotta get back to not dying, so uh, good talk. What? We can work this out, can't we? Get you some gold. She's so cute. I am not really a queen. I'm just an IT girl. What? Standing in front of a monster, asking it not to kill her. <laughs> Oh, the reference there. That what? is all I want as well. 
Yeah. She's all of a sudden very intrigued. I swear, if anything's happened to her, dude, we checked all the tents. We'll talk to these guys. Oh, he seems genuinely worried. Kaka! 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 All right, I need real answers. This here is a real gun. See? <laughs> whoa! Whoa! Hold! Hold! Jeez! Now start talking. Where's the queen? I don't know. I'm a fairy. <laughs> Swoon. <laughs> Swoon. I was summoned here by. See now in something else. Help me out, guys. I can't break free from the spell myself. A hero must take my master's book of magic and destroy it. Breaking the spell. Are you that hero, Charlie? My name is Charlie Bradbury. And I am here to rescue you. Oh, she's a sucker for a pretty face. Similar to the Witcher. Looks like a tiny tent outside and you go inside and it's massive. Oh, Charlie! She doesn't look like she needs rescuing, guys. Dudes, if the tent is rocking, don't come a knocking. No, it's him. My master, run! Of course, it's him. Killed, if you please. <gasps> well, now what, Jerry? My name is Boltar the Furious. My plan was, after getting rid of all of my competition, to win the battle tomorrow. But then you two idiots showed up, and I was forced to improvise. This will all work out after I remove you from the playing field With that? and wipe her memory. Kilda? Don't you do it. I can't stop him. The book, you must destroy it. Get the book in the fire! Toss the book in the fire! I'm the one who saves damsels in the stress around here. I'll oh, stab it. Stabbing it works, apparently. <laughs> the hollow forest is forever in your debt. I must return to those green hills now. I will take my former master with me. He must face a fairy tribunal for his sins. Wait. You go, Charlie. Call me. <laughs> Call me. <laughs> so what's next for you, Charlie? New town, new identity. Or you could just join the boys. Yeah, so just join the Winchesters. If I can ever be of help to you guys, let me know. Will do. So is she just gonna flit in and out of the episodes then? Apart from the fact that you blocked me from being a fairy and I'm about to go lose my <laughs> crown in battle thanks to my army being decimated. <laughs> yeah, totally good. <laughs> I love her. Smell you later, bitches. Look, before you say anything, I, 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 I get it. No amount of fun is gonna help you get over what you gave up. You just, uh, you need time, right? And you too. Having fun won't help me. It'll help both of us, shall we? And dying in your beds, many years from now, <laughs> would you be willing to trade all the days <laughs> from this day to that for one chance? <laughs> is that the speech from? It's the only one he knows. Just one chance. <laughs> to come back here and tell our enemies that they may take our lives, but they will never take our freedom. Oh. <laughs> our freedom! I freaking loved it. I loved it, guys. <laughs> what a fun, fun episode that was, seriously. I mean, I, I know that Supernatural really does these sort of episodes well, where they're a bit quirky, they're a bit different, but whether it was just because it was more of a geeky nature that I just loved it so much, or just the fact that Charlie was in it, because she is, she's so funny, isn't she? And she's just pure and real, I think. Love that character, and I really do hope we see more of her in future episodes. I'm assuming she'll just come in and out as Garth does, and Jodie, and 
similar characters like that, which I'm all for. Although I would like to see a lot more of her as a more of a regular occurrence, but it seems as though Supernatural don't really have those sort of roles. They, they seem to focus just mainly on the boys and everyone else just sort of comes in and out as they please. Obviously there's Castiel who's in a lot more, but even so he, he's in some episodes and not others. So yeah, it's one of those things, I guess. Season eight so far is awesome. I don't think I've watched an episode yet where I've been bored. I mean there was Bitten but I wouldn't say I was bored watching that. It was just very different and I miss the boys. That's that. I think that's the main thing that I took away from, from that episode from Bitten. Dean and Sam having that little chat there at the end acknowledging what Sam has given up and the same with Dean as well. The, the focus seems to be more so on Sam because that was a, a love interest rather than a friendship but Dean lost a lot as well saying goodbye to Benny was huge for him he he said Benny was like a brother so just walking away from that has got to be tough Dean knows that what he's done was wrong and he's trying to sort of make amends for that and Sam saying well we can both have fun because we both need it I think was a really nice scene to have and I hope now that they can just move forward with things now and there is no resentment there because I, I was nervous after watching last episode for sure. Also I loved the story in this episode, the whole LARPing thing, I loved that. I also enjoyed the fact that Charlie wanted to get with a fairy and then the fairy has to go off and she's like damn guys have cop blocked me yet again. <laughs> loved that. She seems like such a player and the sweetest player that there is. <laughs> she's quite the character is our Charlie, isn't she? And she's saying that she wants to just face things now, so are we gonna stick with the Charlie name? Is the name already changed? I don't know, I'm interested to find out more anyway. Every episode has been really good watch so far, and I hope that it just continues down this route of awesome episodes ahead. I've heard that the best is yet to come as well, so I'm excited to see what, what's ahead of me, and yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this reaction. If you did, give it a cheeky thumbs up and subscribe, you know, if you want to. But there's no pressure here. And this week, I'd like to give a very special shout out to Abby. You've been my Patreon for quite some time now, and I really do appreciate you leaving comments in my videos each week. Always look forward to reading them. I'm sorry I can't always reply each week, but please, everyone, know that I do read every single comment. I get the email notifications, so I read them as, as and when they come in. And yeah, I appreciate you taking the time to do that and just to watch in general and show your support means the world. So thanks so much, Abby. And I hope you enjoy my content furthermore and have an awesome week ahead. Please everyone feel free to check out some of my other content on YouTube. There's plenty to dive into. Pokemon related, I have gaming, I have The Walking Dead, Game of Thrones, Winona Earp, I have Supernatural as you all know. So please have a wander through my playlist and see if there's anything that you like there. And subscribe, you know, if you want to, but there's no pressure here. I also have a Patreon and I also have a PO Box. Links to those will be in the description below. And I hope to see you all again soon for another video. Thanks so much watching guys. Bye!